London's number one morning show, The Taz Show, with Taz, Jim, and Sherry, on London's number one station, FM 96. We all know that when the London Knights play at Budweiser Gardens, it's the House of Green. Well, yesterday, Victoria Park was the Park of Green. Oh, yeah. For a completely different reason. We've got uh, Knights tickets to give away here. We're doing it with a game called Doobie Know the Answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doobie Know the Answer. Uh, Jim went up to people in Victoria Park during the 420 rally yesterday, asked them general trivia questions. We'll play back the question. You have to guess whether or not the person he's talking to, the stoner, will know the answer. Now, who is the first guy uh, that we're going to play? So this guy was one of the first people I saw when I walked into the park. It was him and two buddies, Crunkin'. They were dancing to rap music, like as the beat was playing on a portable speaker, passing around a huge joint, and they were like dancing around (laughs) as a guy was filming them on like a professional camera. I was like, I got to figure out what's going on here. So I approached him and and got to know him a little bit. First off, what's your name? Robbie G. What brings you out today to uh, Vic Park on 420? Getting high as I'm shooting a music video. <laughs> What's the music video for? It's for a song that I did on my new album coming out. On a, I'm a hip hop artist from Guelph, Ontario, and we do a lot of stuff in London. So it came up for that. Yeah, man, check it out. It's called "We Don't Need to Fake It," yo, and it's all about you know being real, being true to yourself, and smoke a. F- we we got golden cups as roadblocks. We stuck puffing on the boat, getting dome in the driver's seat. You ain't as high as me. I got all kinds of varieties. Find me cracking open backwards, laughing, smoking that girl. Yeah. When you're done, going past the smoke. So he's a rapper on the microphone. Don't choke it all. I'm known to Filming get the crowd music video. Like a basketball player yeah, wearing an overall. So I'm going to be on this music oh, video. So you're in the music video they're, now. They're, yes? they were filming the interview in the guy, so I only assume. What's his name? Robbie G. Robbie J. Robbie G. In the house. <laughs> All right, Jim's going to ask Robbie G some trivia questions. Do we know the answer? 519 643 9696. You want a chance at some London Knights tickets? Give us a call right now. Caller 9 will play after the Stones. FM 96. Jim, can you hit us with some Robbie G? Be stuck puffing on the boat, getting dome in the driver's seat. You ain't as high as Playing a game here called Doobie Know the Answer. Jim was in uh, Victoria Park for 420 yesterday talking to people smoking the ganj. And one of those people was Robbie G, an aspiring rapper from Guelph. Was he ever smoking the ganj? Him and two other buddies, a massive joint. They did, you know what, guys? Didn't even offer me any puffs. How rude! Bogarting on me. How rude. Our contestant here this morning is Tim Bannister. Good morning, Tim. Morning. So you heard uh, Robbie G talking with Jim a couple minutes ago. You got a sense of what this guy's all about. What did he look like? What was he dressed like, Jim? Oversized shirt, white dude, plugs in his ears. Um, about my age, I'd say, brown, like late twenties. Late twenties. Yep. All right. There's the uh, the basis of uh, what you're dealing with here with Robbie G. Jim asked him some trivia questions. We're going to play those for you. You just have to guess whether or not Robbie G knew the answer. London Knights tickets for the game coming up on Tuesday on the line. Okay, Tim? Okay. Let's hear the first question, Jim. Who sings the song Sweet Leaf? Hmm. Do you think Robbie G knows who sings Sweet Leaf, Tim? Yes. Who sings the song Sweet Leaf? That one, I have no idea. Sweet Leaf? Jesus, Iron Maiden? No. Did not know. Doobie, he doobie doesn't know. <laughs> he dub, dubs it, no? <laughs> he doob, oh, whatever. Okay, <laughs> he dabs next. It, he dabs it, no? Next question. Okay. What is the bus driver's name from The Simpsons? The bus driver from The Simpsons, does he know his name? Doobie know the name. <laughs> Uh, yes. What is the bus driver's name from The Simpsons? See, I don't know this too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm way too stoned, man. Mm. <laughs> Shocker. Otto, right? Yeah, yeah. Classic yeah. cartoon stoner character. One, one of my faves from the show. Next question for Robbie G. If you G. bought a bong for $33.33 okay. and, yeah. and you gave the cashier two $20 bills, how much change would you get back? Can Robbie G do that math? What do you think, Tim? <laughs> uh, no. If you bought a bong for $33.33 okay. and, yeah. and you gave the cashier two $20 bills, how much change would you get back? $33.33? Yeah. All right, yeah, that's, that's six, six, 667 
He got it. <laughs> Who would have thought? And that was pretty quick, too. Nice. <laughs> okay, another question for Robbie G. How many centimeters in a kilometer? Mmm, tricky one. How many centimeters in a kilometer? Does he get this one right, Tim? No. How many centimeters in a kilometer? Oh, sh I know this. My, my boys know, but I'm, I'm way too stoned for that. <laughs> Time he doesn't know the answer. Ah, I blame it on the weed. Yeah. I'm way too stoned. He did not know. That's oh, good for you. Okay. Is this the last one? Last one, guys. How many grams in an ounce? <laughs> that type of measurement might might be more up his alley. <laughs> How many grams in an ounce does Robbie G is smoking a doobie in Victoria Park yesterday? Know the answer to that one, Tim. Yes, he did. How many grams in an ounce? I know that one. That's easy. That's twenty-eight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For the win, Tim, congratulations. You are going to see the London...